What's happening on Motive Panda? It's Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you these LED headlights. I am really falling in love with these things. Uh, as I unbox this one, this is the C6S uh, in uh, 30 watt, 3200 lumens. And um, like I said, as I unbox it here, I just want to kind of tell you that there used to be a time when I was into cars and we want our headlights to look like the high intensity discharge headlights. And basically you would just buy bulbs that weren't any brighter, but were tinted blue. And so they would look cooler. Man, I, you know, it's just funny that we would do things like that that just looked cooler and had no actual practical value, and they were really expensive. And then things like this, LED headlight, headlights, headlight bulbs come out, and they actually are brighter. They use less power. They put out less heat. I don't know. I mean, they're just, everything about them seems to be kind of a uh, really, really uh, significant improvement, and they're just not that expensive, right? I mean, especially compared to a lot of the traditional bulbs, like the standard halogen bulbs that are out there, that uh, can be really, really expensive. So uh, I just thought I'd take a look at these here. This is gonna be an unboxing because it'll be a little while before I get them into the car. But as you can see here, uh, it has the uh, collar here with three prongs, very typical. You know, it's a stamped piece of sheet metal we have you know, the fins and the heat sink back here. We have a little fan in the back so that it will actually cool um, the, the unit itself. We have LEDs right here on this side and on this side. It's kind of interesting that they've got a little bit of this like uh, fin over it, uh, presumably so that, you know, kind of deflects or um, I think deflects the light down, kind of creates that that eyebrow, you know, that, that uh, kind of keeps light from blinding other drivers. and. And then we have hanging off here a very short cord with you know a three prong uh, plug so this will you know if your car uses this type you know in this case um, this led headlamp then it'll be a, a direct drop and swap for you and then it does obviously come with both of these and as you can see here packed just like this so pretty cool can't wait to get these in my car and then i'll take a closer look at you know what the light output is like but i can tell you that so far what i've put them on They've been a direct swap. Uh, they have been brighter and whiter than my standard bulbs. Uh, and they're just an improvement. And I've never had any problems with compatibility. Now I will say the only issue is that I've discovered on these LED lights is because the back end sticks out here quite a bit more. You've got to really know what kind of housing your headlight bulb goes into. Some of them have the uh, back of the the bulb just sticking out a little ways and then the plug plugs into there etc etc and then there's a cap that goes on and so you don't have a lot of room in the back you know behind the the reflector for an LED so you know I would recommend taking a look at kind of your setup because if you don't have uh, you know I'll call it a couple inches beyond the back of where your bulb sits right now these LED bulbs aren't probably gonna work. They've all generally had kind of like the the big part of the unit hanging off the back. So keep that in mind. But like I said, on my Prowler, um, had plenty of room. So we'll see on my Fiat and my GM, but uh, I'm pretty excited about these. Really a cool upgrade. I'll put a link to these in the description if you wanna check them out. Peter Mount Band out.